Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another Ask Creed Valhalla Wrath of the Druids DLC achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting the Decked Out trophy. Now, there are quite a few parts to this, five to be precise, as we need to get five Dublin bits of armour. But, I'm going to show you how to get them. So, first of all, and most importantly, as you start the game, what you will notice is, after you speak to Azar in Chapter 2, there are sort of circles which are not yet complete. Now these are called tree posts. Now as you'll see on the map here, the, these ones are complete. The sort of circles on the map, fairly obvious which ones they are. Um, but they are called tree posts and it's important for getting the achievement for getting Dublin Renowned to level 5. So as soon as you're able, like I said after talking to Azar in Chapter 2, it is highly recommended to gain control of said tree post as doing so gives you different items to trade. Now there are four items to trade and you get one or two from every trade post, or one from every trade post. It's clothing, text, delicacies and luxuries. Now keep in mind, every trade post um, you do will have a few enemies to clear out. Then you have to find the deed which isn't normally too far away, but you have to clear out more enemies and then take it back and then you'll start unlocking said item every minute or two. So this is where Azar and the chest um, is located in Dublin, so you will always see, as long as you've unlocked all four trade posts, or all six or seven trade posts in the game, that is where the chest will be, just by Azar in Dublin, and that, like I said, will fill up automatically every minute. So, like I said, you can keep playing the game while the chest in Dublin fills up, but as I said, remember to check back every once in a while as it does get to a maximum capacity. Now, what you can do as well is actually just wait in front of the chest, and it also fills up automatically as well. So, you've got a few good options, but let's get to the nitty-gritty now of how trade posts work. So, there's usually two in each region right there, but let's get down to it. So, like I said, you get three armor items from doing trade deals with Azar, and getting Dublin Renown up to level 5, and the other two are on Drangas we have to beat. So, the first one you will get is for getting Dublin's Renown to level 2, and that's an easy cheesy bobs. This is where Azar's chest and her other chest is located, right next to her, so you can always have to press the Y, hold and press the Y button. That gets you all the items. And then what you need to do to do said trade deals is actually speak to Azar herself. And just pick the first option. She, you'll, she'll always have a good chat, so you can have a look if you want, but... Uh, you know, no thanks. We got shit to do, honey. So, this is what the trade contracts look like. So, on the left-hand side, you will see how many of the clothing and text, luxuries and de delicacies that you will have. And, basically, we've basically just got to give as many as we can over to whatever the hell. Which you can do by pressing X to deliver all, or just A to deliver one. I don't know why you do that for some reason. And on the right there, as you can see, this is where we get all our rewards. Now, you'll never see any of the Dublin um, cloaks or whatever appear actually in the rewards. It only appears, and we get it when we get Dublin's Renown up to level 2, 4, and 5. And level 4 is what you're going to see me doing now. So just press X to deliver everything on everything. Like I said, as long as you've got enough. You know, and, and the best part about it, like I said, is you can literally just keep the game um, playing idle while you just stand in front of the chest for, you know, a good hour or so. And that'll fill up the chest nicely as well if you're having to wait around. But as long as you've got enough items, just keep delivering everything for the momentos. Tidy that is boys! So once we've delivered everything, you just press B to back out. I have what I need. And this is where we get the... Um, you'll always get this sort of cutscene with the Dublin Renown moving up. So now that we are on level 4 out of 5, we should now have at least two bits of Dublin armour. Like I said, I forgot to press record um, to record the one for the second one. But, <laughs> you know, are you stupid? And, you know, you'll get there anyway if you're getting this far. 
So, the next thing that we're going to do, you can actually get Dublin Renown to level 5 if you've got enough, but what I'm going to show you now is how to, where to find and how to actually beat the two Drengas. And the first one then is located high, high, high up in Connacht, and he's sort of on this little mountain area all by himself. Now, it's very highly important, like I said, well, it's not important, but for me, the easiest and fastest way, if you see my Double Trouble video, Double Trouble Achievement video, is to make sure you've got focus of the Nonir ability. Again, what that will do, you press left trigger to aim, press for me, it was the X button, that's the button I mapped it to, and that completely slows down time, and you are able to hit all of the weak spots, getting a lot of health off, as you can see. So, you've got a couple of weak spots on his shoulder, so you can just keep hitting him on the same weak spot as well. But this helps just an incredible deal. It does a, an insane amount of damage, and like I said, if you press the X button just as he goes to attack you, that will also amazingly, incredibly slow down time, enabling you to get a few melee hits in as well. But for me, those two were just the easiest and best ways of doing things. Ranged attacks are just goddamn sexually attractive in this game. Bit of a stun attack, and that is the first Drenger beaten. And that is our first bit of Dublin um, armor off a Drenger. Hogney the Sea Tosser. Another sad survivor of Thorgest's crew still walks. Uh, uh. So for me right there, that is 3 out of 5. Now if we go to Ulster, this one is right up north. Sort of north east a little bit as well if you want. But it is high up north on the sort of right side of the island. This is where we are going to get the second and final Drenger of the DLC. And our fourth bit of the Irish Dublin um, armour. Good God, I'm pathetic at accents. I'm sorry, Ireland. Sorry for the offence there. Um, <laughs> Blood, my name is Crip the Ivor, Blood the Giant, we're going to fight again, and exactly, we're going to be doing exactly the same. Now, of course, both Drengers will have different abilities and different weapons and everything, but we're still going to have the focus of the non-near ability, and we're still going to fudge them up the exact same way. So, y'all can suck my balls, Blood. <laughs> that sounds funny. So, again, try and just keep aiming for the weak points. Until Big Blood the Giant Douchebag is finished. Again, and like I said, if you've got the four ability points there, this just makes this, again, an absolute titty breeze. Well done, stranger. Last and largest of Thorgest's Drenger, he who lies at the bottom of Loch Nech. Unlucky love, I got your game. Uh, by the way, there was a quick edit because I actually came up to this place, but as you can see, I just managed to get the um, fourth bit of the armor. And now, like I said, now we're going to be getting the fifth one, plus the achievement for getting Dublin's Renown up to level five. So again, what's important though is you don't actually have to complete all of the contracts to get to level five. So as you can see, I will not have enough clothing, and I run out of something else as well. But as long as you've got enough delicacies and enough to cover 
uh, about at least half of the contracts, that's all. Um, you will see the achievement unlock here, so don't actually think that you have to... Uh, so I've already run out of clothing. That I thought, oh god, so I've got to wait, but you actually don't. So you can literally just keep doing the rest of the contracts, and that will be enough to get Dublin's Renown up to level 5, and for us to get the achievement. Just in case you were wondering, there it is. So, happy days. That one took me by surprise as well. So you don't actually have to do any more if you don't want, if you don't fancy the rewards. You can literally now just back out, and that is how you also unlock the Dublin Renown level 5 achievement, which is called... Bleh, I forgot. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but that is how you get all of the Dublin... Uh, the Dublin armor, and that is how you easily beat the two Drengers. I know there's other guys who've just shown you the locations and everything, but I thought I would be nice, help you out, just to show you the best and easiest way to defeat the Drengers, as I know, you know, they are son of a bitches and they can be quite problematic. But I do hope that this video helped you out, guys and gals. Thank you so, so much for watching. Again, hope it did help. If it did, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe. A big shout out to everyone on Patreon and everyone who continues to support the show and the channel. I really, really do appreciate it. Slight tackle the priest. Bleh, up your guts. <laughs> Thanks for watching again, everyone. Slight tackle the priest again. Oh, I missed him. Big love. Peace out. See you soon.